Hello, hello, hello beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new leaks video. I am starting this intro quite late, but we're starting the episode on 40,500 points. And my first goal is to completely finish everything that is Sire related. And throughout these episodes, we'll be working to get closer to max, but also complete as many points as possible. The obvious goal of the series is to reach this dragon tier. And I wanna start slowly prioritizing getting more and more points. That being said though, let's jump right into today's episode. Damn, I was starting to think these don't exist anymore. I am probably at this point, almost like, a, I don't know, 100 kills without an Unsired, which is like really crazy. I'm only gonna do 16 more kills of Sire, but let's go ahead and see if we can maybe pull a Jar or a Pet. If you don't know, I already have two fully completed Bludgeons and a bunch of Whips and Daggers. So let's see what we get from this one, starting on the third Bludgeon. There we go, Abyssal Sire, fully completed. If we quickly take a look into the combat tasks, everything is green here. If we quickly take a look into the collection log, this is how my collection log looks like. Four daggers, I think I got one whip, one head, and then two fully completed bludgeons. We ended up pulling 13 unsires in total. It is one in 20, so you should expect five per hundred. So I am two unsires short, but I'm pretty happy with everything. Let's move on to something else. There we go, doing some late night questing. And there is quite a lot of points logged behind Death to the Dorgashun. So let's go ahead and complete the few. There is pickpocket a bullseye lantern and there is stealing a diamond in Dorgish Khan. Hey, and there's a 99 thieving as well. Good morning. Now that the skilling is done and the thieving is completed, at least I think the thieving is the last thing I did. I am over here at the Leviathan. Uh, I'm going to try to get the ring, maybe some Verdus pieces. I mean, Verdus pieces are quite rare, but and we're going to just be killing some Leviathan. I do need to get a ton of KC here. It would be an ideal uh, world to get really lucky and get all the drops by 300 KC. Uh, but most likely that's not gonna happen and I will need to kill, I don't know, like 900 or something. Speaking and doing the boss, not the easiest job in the world, but should be fine. Alright, anyways, I'm gonna focus on the boss. I'm gonna get a bunch of kill count down and I'm starting at KC 26. This is an absolutely amazing drop, 225 unfinished bolts from Leviathan, that's crazy good. I believe this is the second drop for the axe, we now have Siren Staff and the Eye of the Duke. How about we quickly go and bang because my inventory is full of loot. Wait, that's actually low-key amazing I think. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever use the axe, but I mean right now my best weapon is Whip with the Defender. So maybe Axe with full Torva could actually be decent in TOA. Again, I don't know. I haven't tested it. I don't know how good it is. But uh, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Pretty exciting. So yeah, there is Eye of the Duke and there is Siren Staff. Here is defeating 50 Leviathan for some easy points. I was wondering when these would start dropping. So I'm gonna need three of these in order to make the Biss Ring for me. So that's one under three completed. Nice. That is exactly what we needed. Second Chromium ingot on the account. Beautiful. 61 KC. It's going very smoothly. And here is the number three. We got all the Chromium ingots we could ever ask for. Now we need to actually drop the ring or some Virtus pieces. Okay, I just pulled Smoke Quartz and I'm not exactly sure what this is used for. I will need to do a little bit of research on that, but that's KC69. Every... Dude... Every time I get to KC69 on the boss on leagues, I'm getting a drop. Like, I don't know, it's... It, there's something about the number, man. Okay, so it looks like the smoke quartz is actually made... Well, you make a smoke ancient scepter with it. Uh, what is smoke ancient scepter, you may be wondering? I've got no clue. But apparently I need to do some Maspa in order to do it, so... We'll figure that out when we get there. I haven't really been thinking about Maspa too much just yet. But the fact is, I do have the heart. And I should make the saturated heart, so I should be doing Maspa pretty soon. But I want to get the ring first. I want to get the ring, maybe some Verdus pieces. So I'm staying here for now. I think that's it. I think that's it. I believe we did it. 78 kill count Venator Vestige. How do I make this thing? I think this is it, by the way. I think I need this, Archer Ring, three chromatic things, 
and we've done it. There's no way. I was ready to do like 300, 500 kills for this thing. Wait a second. So I need to do research as to how to make this, but I already did research before I started and I'm pretty sure this is what I need. Let me just figure out how to cook this thing together. I do believe I have everything I need in order to make it in my inventory. I'll have to chisel the archer ring, bring the thingy to the thingy, uh, but let's speak to the peer this year. Combine it with something else. Okay, let me just try. If I chisel this, we now have an, the icon, and then I have the ring mold, I have this. Can I just come here and smelt it? I don't think this is working for me right now. Okay, let me see if I can use this on this guy. Oh, there we go. Peer the Seer shows you how to combine ring icons with ancient vestiges. All right, shout out to Peer the Seer, the homie right there. Let's take a look if we can do it now. Okay, apparently I need 500 blood runes. Wait, ah, I have it there. Hold up. L let's try it again. There it is, Venator icon. Can I craft it now? Craft a Venator ring. Yes. Oh, there it is. It's beautiful. If you guys do not know, this is going to make us even stronger. This is... Plus two range over the imbued archer ring and you also get a range strength on top of that. So that's gonna be a pointer 200 and we now have an even better ring. So how could we improve our range gear further? Mazori chaps and obviously I need a, a, a like a horn drop from Nex still. But we're gonna now top off this PVM adventures with a little bit of skilling I think. I want to see if I can complete some more elite diaries. I do believe my trees should be fully grown right now. Let's take a look. We are back to some of the rune crafting training with a lot of rune essence, all coming from, or mostly coming from the soul wars. The plan is simple right now. I need 91 rune crafting to finish my Karamja diaries. It would be only fitting to miss 91 rune crafting, but now I'm making double the nature runes, which is super useful. And I just need to do the full inventory in one go, so let's do that first. And my Kalquat is 7 out of 9 grown, so I can't fully finish the Elite Diaries, but I can always return to that in the future. I just want to quickly make one full inventory. So that should do it. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, now do I want to train more rune crafting right now? I have a lot of essence. I might as well get like a level or two more. Just kidding, I decided to train some fletching instead, there's 87, I'm trying to get to 95, it might be quite a bit of a process, I'll probably just do herbivore or something at the same time. There's a 92 hunter, here is 150 herbivores caught, in the process this got me from 80 hunter all the way to 93. I also ended up getting an entire fletching level from it as well, just doing new logs at the same time. There is no more points coming from Herbivore, but I do believe this is a pretty chill and relaxing way for me to get 99 Hunter. Uh, but since I am literally one catch away from level 94, I'm gonna catch one more right now. But then we are gonna move on to something else. And here's level 94 Hunter. I'll probably just do like one level at a time whenever I feel like it. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. I've really been enjoying multi-skilling lately. So here's 96 seven crafting whilst I was doing herbivore however right now looking at my stats my agility seems a bit sus let's go ahead and fix it at least a few levels so what I'm trying to do right now it's a little bit all over the place but I'm trying to have my farming be the lowest level so I can do tiers of gothics so I can get a bunch of XP in it or should I do that for agility why am I overcomplicating this I'll just do it for agility right now all right 111 tiers let's take a look at how much XP we can get 117,000. Yeah, I'd say that was worth it. Since I'm in the skilling mood, I need to do 250 agility laps anyways. I'm doing it whilst I'm crafting. I'm trying to get to 99 crafting. I'm doing green dehyde bodies for some reason right now. I have a bunch of uncuts that I'll do after. And honestly, whenever you're in the mood to do a little bit of agility, it is probably worth it. This shit is slow as fuck, let me tell you. But yeah, I need to do 250 laps and then after that I'll see what my best way to train agility is. Or maybe I put some XP lamps on it or whatever, but 
looking at these stats, I don't think I'm that far away from being maxed. Like, I'm gonna be straight up honest. It's doable. It's gonna be a little bit longer with my relics. I didn't really take the best relics to max efficiently, uh, but it can be done for sure. So 87 agility. It's in my style to miss it. I'm gonna move on to something else. And uh, every day, I guess I'll do a little bit agility. Try to get this thing up, man. I do not like it whatsoever. This Releka course is not doing it for me. Well, thanks to Banker's Relic, I'm actually preparing a lot of future tasks. There is some tasks I completely missed, and one is to craft 1000 Mithril Darts, one is to craft 1000 Adamant Darts, and one is to craft 1000 Rune Darts. And I can train agility whilst getting all the bars that I need, and then once all the bars are ready, I can then go ahead and uh, smith them all for points. So that's gonna be my plan, and then after that, that's also gonna be fletching XP that we need, so we're kinda doing everything at once here. Maybe agility is not gonna be that hard to train after all. Okay, I'm going up to rune bars right now. There's a simple task of making one of those on the actual furnace, but the way I do it is I do agility and I do it all passively, basically. So back to running laps and after I have a hundred runite bars, I can do a big combo of a bunch of tasks. I made all the bars I needed for all the tasks whilst doing agility. Now it's just time to turn them into mithril dart tips. And here is 87 smithing. I was also thinking of using all my runite ores that I got from Nex in Blast Furnace to get a bunch of runite bars, turn them into dart tips, fledge them into fletching XP. Dude, I'm cooking right now. I'm in a skilling mood. Let's get a bunch of high levels. That is smithing 1000 mithril dart tips completed. And there it is, 1000 adamant dart tips. Let's go up to rune. There's 89 fletching. We need to get 95 so I can complete the next points, I guess. Here is making a rune item for 80 points and I need 89 smithing in order to make darts. So I think I'm gonna attempt blast furnace and see how it feels. Wait, I'm thinking about it and this might be insane with the banker's note. Wait, this might be stupid. Okay, so let's say this is now done. Wait a second. Bars. Okay, I'll just do one so I don't like... Oh, this is gonna be crazy good. What? Look at this. Oh, man. The best part about these, I got a lot of these ores from doing next, right? And this is like a lot of money. I can turn all of these into plate bodies. I can turn all of these even into something as simple as dart tips for fletching, right? Like this is... I can really decide what I want to do with this. Like right now, I don't know what's the best way, but if the money is something I'm going for, I mean, this is this is how we do it. There's 88 smithing as well. This is so chill. And there we go. That is all the rune bars done. And I'm actually seriously considering doing all my adamant as well very quickly because I can turn adamant ones into plate bodies for a lot of money as well. I've done all my adamant bars and this is also going to be useful when I'm doing more of the... Is it called Giant's Foundry? I don't know, the, the smithing minigame. Uh, but I guess since we're already here, let's do mithril bars until I'm 89 smithing because that's when I can start making my runite darts. And there it is, 89 smithing. And you know what? This is actually really enjoyable, so I think I'm gonna do it all the way. And that is what, about a thousand? Yeah, over 1000 mithril bars done as well. Let me withdraw my coins and let me go make some rune dart tips now. That came out pretty perfectly. That's a thousand dart tips and 90 smithing in the exact same bars. Hey, there's 90 fletching. I made about 2000 darts. We'll see where this gets us to. Obviously not 99, but at least I have something to do whilst doing other things. I was wondering when this tree is gonna be grown. Let's quickly check it. And there it is, a level 87. Check a grown Kalkwat tree task. But also, we've now completed another set of Elite Diaries. So, Karamja Elite Diary is completed. That's another 200 pointer. Going all the way up to 42,000 right now. Which is basically Rune Tier. So, we're now one step away from Dragon Tier. Obviously, it's gonna take quite a while to get 14,000 more points. We're gonna go grab our XP lamp and I've decided I'm putting everything into Herblor. Without the farmer's relic, it's just gonna be hard to train this skill. I can do 1 mil agility XP an hour doing Releka. Sure, is it gonna take me like many hours? Yes, like 8 hours to 99, but I can multi-skill whilst doing it, so it shouldn't be too bad. Alright, there we go. We now have tier 4 Karamja gloves, so if we wanna take the agility route of doing it in here, that will help, but let's take all of this XP, 
put it into Herbler, let's not overthink it, there is 92 herb completed, we can now make super anti-fire potions and we're very close to 93, perfect. This is one of the tasks that I wanted to do probably day one or two of leagues, which is cutting Sulius cap or something like that, however it was bugged. Uh, but as you can see right now we're getting mushrooms, we should be able to get a camp, but we should also get Mortmire Fungus, I believe, which is the only way for me to get it, which is used to make energy potions, which is used to make stamina potions, which is basically what we need. And there it is, this little text, Mortmire Fungus, you would have gained total of two, that is what we're here for. It is actually really impressive how many fossils you get from just chopping here, it's like a lot. Well, well, that's that's awkward. So look how far up in the chat I'm scrolling. Yeah, chop a Sulius of cap. I got it. And then I notice, and I've been chopping, and I've been chopping, and a little bit more chopping, and uh, well, at least we got it. So in the process, we also got what 50 Mortmire fungus. It's actually pretty decent. Let's see if I can make some stamina potions. Ah, there it is. Okay, we're good, we're good. 40 points for making 20 staminas. The best part about this is I can now make a revitalization pool in my house and I can then make this and then I don't really need to go further. But just the prayer potion would actually be quite useful. So let me go ahead and grab that. But first, I'm probably going to change my layout a little bit of my house. So I'm going to move my chapel away right now. And I can now finally move my garden back here because I'll be able to replenish my prayer by just drinking from the pool, which is going to be a little bit better than what we were doing beforehand. <laughs> All right, it's only like 650k. We'll do this as well and we'll upgrade our pool as far as we can. I mean, it's just going to be convenient. It's literally right here. So start off with prayer pots and move on to restores. I don't think I can get anti-venom, but yeah, it's gonna be super convenient. I have spent most of today just doing point tasks and whatnot, aside from Leviathan early on, but right now what I wanna do is I wanna do some Calfight. Calfight Queen has a pretty decent drop chance for me. I can train a little bit of fletching in the process, and in the long run I can get a KQ head, which would in turn also complete my desert diaries. If we quickly take a look, Getting 95 fletching is something I'm actively working on, casting a nice barrage is really easy, and then restoring 85 player I can already do, and speak to the KQ head in your POH, we need to get a KQ head drop. Not gonna lie, when I see how majors do this, it seems quite nice, but I just use onyx bolts to heal me through the damage that I take, it's usually pretty okay. We're starting on KC number 4, let's see if we get lucky also. Drops like these, very good. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention, Dragon Pickaxe is something I would absolutely like on this account because I'm gonna need to do quite a lot of motherload mining and since you can't really tick manipulate motherload mining, Dragon Pickaxe is gonna be useful, so it's one of the things I wanna get. And this is exactly why we're here for two magic seeds, that's like 500k farming XP, and I absolutely forgot about the dragon chain body. It should also be a pointer. Thank you very much. That's 200. Bunch of magic logs as well. Yeah, lots of good drops here. Nice. So one of the combat achievements is to get a kill on a call fight with vengeance. So I guess that's what I'm trying to do right now. We'll see how hard this will be to accomplish. That's how easy it was first attempt and we got it. Perfect. More magic seeds. We're getting lucky on those. We are winning. We are absolutely winning. There is the KQ head, meaning we got technically everything we wanted from here. I would really like a dragon pickaxe, not gonna lie. Oh, it just auto-completes it. When you get as a drop, you don't even need to like build it up or anything. It just finishes the thingy. So right now, I really just need to work on 95 fletching, and this is basically already completed. I will do a couple of kills more. I wanna see if I can land a dragon pickaxe. There is a Calfight Queen Adept completed for killing it 25 times. Here's a dupe Dragon Chain Body. Slightly unfortunate, but we'll take it. Never gonna say no to more Magic Seeds, that's solid. 40kc already. Uh, there's another one, we just pulled the Dragon Two-Hander. Not what I'm here for. Is it a task? It is a task. You know what? I'll take it. We are up to 42.6 now, so that's pretty good. Well, there's another Dragon Two-Hander. Not what we need, unfortunately. That is 50. Calfight Queens defeated, pretty solid. And that's also some combat achievements. Nice. That's my third cake you had, by the way. Still trying to get a pickaxe, but we do need to kill 150 Calfight anyways, so might as well stay here. Another cake you had, I think it's like number four or five or something like that. 
Ah, uh, it's milking it. It is milking it. 69 can you see? And we get a dragon to hunter. There's something about the 69, man. It keeps coming up. I don't know what it is. Yes, sir. That's 40 points. Nice. I just want a dragon pickaxe, but here's the third dragon chain body. That is chain body number four. And there is a dragon to hunter. Fourth one. Chain body number five. Here's 93 fletching. I'm trying to get to 95 to finish Desert Diaries and in the process I'm also finishing or checking on my miscellanea simply because I am trying to get a Willow Seed so I can also do Falador Diaries. During the short Caliphate Queen break I'll be thieving this Tazar in order to get a diamond. It is a 200 point task that is just existing so I wanna claim it. Super late night skilling. I got myself prospector helmet, legs and boots and I'm really close to finishing the body. I'm obviously grinding up for those Falador diaries at the moment. I think I can sort it out very quickly. There it is. This one took three mining levels to complete. There we go. Nice and easy. That is Falador easy diaries done. Here it is. Green tails completed. This one gives a ton of XP, especially agility and herblor is something that's pretty good and farming do we get any levels that's 88 farming 93 herblor 89 agility but most importantly this is needed for my diary and there it is hard falador diary not so hard at all here is 89 farming okay elite diaries completed and now all i need is for my willow tree to grow so i can make a fruit basket that's, that's all I'm missing, a fruit basket, man. Just one more fletching level to go, but I think I'll go to sleep pretty soon, so maybe I'll see you in the morning. So, I should have been sleeping right now, yeah? But I had to get this. I had to get the 95 fletching first. We can now make dragon darts. There we go. If I didn't finish this, it would be bothering me and I wouldn't be able to sleep. But there is 200 points. There is Desert Diaries fully completed. We're gonna go grab XP. But most importantly, 43.6k points. Sick. That is another 200 pointer. Super easy. And clicking Herblur here is 94 Herb as well. Plus, this amulet is insanely useful. I can just use it, immediately click on the Eledini statue, get full stats back and go back in action. But seriously, I'm gonna go to sleep now, I'll catch you in the morning. Good morning everybody, as you can see my diaries are looking pretty good. As you can see we click Falador, we scroll, we scroll, we scroll, oh, I need to create a fruit basket, great. I planted this before going to sleep and my willow is dead. So I need to get another willow seed, plant another willow seed, just in order to complete these damn diaries, man. This is just not nice. I guess I go back to doing birdhouses, maybe some mole. I don't know, I need to get another willow seed. I'm forced to start doing birdhouses again, but here's a mahogany tree that's fully grown. That is 90 and we get 80 points a bonus. Not too bad. Well, I might have gotten scammed by the Willow Seed, but there is another 99 on the account. We got 99 crafting, very useful one for the teleports. These are the skills right now. It's pretty obvious that I am going to be pushing for max somewhat soon, but I think I'll end this episode trying to plant the goddamn Willow Seed. I don't really know, but I might legit go kill some giant mole. Or actually, I do think I have only like 12 Calphites left to kill. Uh, in order to reach my 150 milestone, so I think I'll go do that first. Quick farming run before we return to PvE. Here is level 91 farming. I can now plant two spirit trees, which is huge because it's one of the tasks, but I need to get the seeds first. So this is now my favorite part. Now that we finally have desert completed, I can come here, kill Calphite Queen, get a drop. Perfect. And now the best part, teleport ta to Narda. Dude, I forgot the teleport back. Alright, let's imagine I had to teleport back. Play at the statue and then teleport back. God, how am I so lost today, man? Okay, we'll try to demonstrate this again, yeah? We kill the boss, we wait for the loot, the loot is great, beam, boom, bam, teleport here. Don't even need to click my prayer, I go there, boom, now I'm back in business and I'm already here and we continue and we, I keep alking, I keep killing the boss and we're hoping for a dragon pickaxe, but if not, it's not like it's a task, by the way, I don't fully need it. So I'm doing this 17 more kills. 
getting all my points and then getting out of here and making money in the process. So it's actually pretty decent, not gonna lie. Looks like we pull another KQ head, KC134. This usually feels so wrong to me because I'm such a hoarder, but here is me alking all of my dragon chains and all of my dragon swords. I really don't need them, I just need money. But for some reason, I really like to have like duplicate drops just sitting in my bank. Even though their alks are worth like 150 to 200k, I just do not like to alk these items away. But I do need to start stacking up on the money, so all these rare items are going to the bin. There it is, 80 pointer by the way, takes very long time to finish this one. Uh, what am I dropping for that? I'm taking this gold ore, there we go. Okay, now I need to find another activity to do and I think I'll start really pushing for max. I mean, I am really in a skilling mood. This today in general, I've just been in skilling mood because I'm so close, but after maxing, I guess I'll just hunt for every single full beast piece. We are ending today's episode on 44,180 total points comfortably relaxing in the rune tier. And in the next episode, I'll definitely be pushing for the dragon tier rank. But I do believe this is a very fitting way to end today's episode. As always, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, leave the video a simple like, maybe drop a comment, and come back tomorrow or after tomorrow for another Leagues video. Have a good rest of your day, be safe, and bye-bye.